Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka and it's time for a Rummage Sale and Thrift Finds video. So it's my weekly haul and this covers June 7th through today, June 11th. I'm doing my haul on Friday night because I work tomorrow so at most I'll only get to hit like one to five rummage sales if I'm lucky before work. Work doesn't usually start till about 10. So plus then this laptop's at work all weekend so I'd rather video on this one. So, we're going to start with the two items I forgot last week. I mentioned one in the bottom description last week, and it was this giant sleeping polar bear stuffed animal. He's huge. I paid $2 for him, and he is marked a Applause Inc., but then it's like Avanti. Um... But he's absolutely adorable, and he's sleeping, which you don't see many bears sleeping. And he still has some eyes under there, but they made them look like they were sleeping. But there's still physical eyes there. Trust me, that's an important feature. Like, if you ever get a toy that has sunglasses on, always check to see if they took the time to put eyes into it. And then my other find was free. It was in the free box. It's a little torn on the edges. But it is this beautiful Moonlight Cove poster by uh, Carlos Rios, I believe. Um, this one's from 1982, so the fact it's just got a little damage on the edge there that you can barely see, I thought was pretty cool. I might try to sell that. I think I have a tube I could mail this in. Or I could make a tube out of old tape things. You know, like when you finish the tape, the roll that's left... I have like 20 of those, so that would be totally a possibility. Stay. All right, then I'm going to tell you about Dad's Buy because it is hilarious. He paid $5 for this, which is a great deal on this, but you know how he has a lighted village. Well, there is technically one in a box downstairs, but when I was like 10, he broke the steeple off of here. He managed to reattach it with glue, but it was broke. So this is him 30 some years later replacing the castle he broke. <laughs> so just gonna leave that in the box to protect it. Mm -hmm. And then this needs a few hours of dusting, um, but the hat got me. I mean, it's precious moments. It's supposed to be a wedding one, but the hat over his face just reminded me of Happy from Rudolph's Happy New Year. That I, I was like, well, I gotta get that. And I was like looking, and it's huge for one. It's much bigger than the standard figures. It's from. It didn't come with this box, but it is in perfect condition. It's from 1987. It's called Heaven Bless Your Togetherness, and. For a dollar, I can spend a few hours dusting it, and I will be selling that, because I'm not getting married anytime soon. <clears throat> then I went to a church sale today, and they only charged me a dollar for both of these, even though there was a dollar already on this other guy. But I got these cute little uh, salt and pepper shakers that are little tiny, like, dart frogs. A green teal with green polka dot wart things. And then, normally I don't get made in China stuff, but his face just sold me. Look at that face. I figured if nothing else, if he doesn't turn out to be worth much, if he's not one of those rare made in Chinas, although this is marked Rhea, John Rhea, 1994, so... I thought that face looked particularly good. So, but worst case scenario, if he's not of any value, he'll end up in the garden or something. So, but his face just sold me. <laughs> All right. Then for one of my exciting finds. Remember, last week, I believe it was, I found Stimpy here at St. Vinny's and Marquette in his rocket, and I was laughing how Loot Crate has this cosmic theme for the month, or outer space, and everything makes sense but the Ren and Stimpy, and this is about the only episode Ren and Stimpy had anything space related in it. So, this week, I went back, and Ren was there! 
Uh, I only had to pay a quarter for him because toys were half off this week. So, Ren and Stimpy are, under, are together again in their rockets. So, yay. Uh, I picked up this little cute pig by Frumps. And his face was just too great not to do. He's much... It's probably like an inch and a half, two inches tall. But I thought he was adorable. And this has a dime on it, but she ended up just giving it to me. It's a little thing of wire that I can use for beading and for, you know, my ornament projects. Um, along the same lines, let's see. I picked up, I can't remember if this was a free box or not. Um... But this is a 1993 Animaniacs uh, roll toy. I guess they're supposed to be in a roller coaster. And he's literally trying to, as it goes, hold Mindy down. Poor buttons. So that's probably going to stay with me. I do love Animaniacs. I, it's the only reason I have Hulu right now at $2 a month from the deal from last November. Then I snagged this up. It was probably, what, 40 cents or something? Because it's 75 cents and it was half off. And it's one of those VHS tape train things. And I think maybe that'll be the thing I try to do is complete the train all summer. But this one was particularly interesting because I've never seen one that says Black Cauldron before. So we have the cute little dog thing. I don't think he's technically a dog. I haven't watched Black Cauldron in a really long time. But... It's very rare to find black cauldron stuff. <laughs> uh, today we went to Vinny's in Ishbrimming. All I found was one starburst ladle. But since I've been there every week, and normally that doesn't happen in winter, there'd be more time to restock in between. I picked up these for 50 cents in a rummage sale. I have uh, actually sold a set of these before. Um, they're just little plastic birds that look like wood, but they sold reasonably fast the last time I had them. And then similarly, this was a quarter this morning and it, I had another Moo Moo Cow Creamer thing. This one had, that one had a daisy on it. This one has sippy straw cup and creamer on it with kids playing with balloons and it's yellow instead of brown, which I thought was different. This guy, I think, is a bear, and he's meant to go hang in your car or hang on, like, luggage or backpacks or something, but he looked like some sort of Tibetan priest for me, so I think he's going to go on my altar area in my room. I have, like, my whole, I have, like, three shelves in my second shelf, so, like, all, like, mostly Asian influence, but some Native American in that uh, altar table kind of thing. I got some books. This one's great because you remember last week I got Teddy Ruxpin and I was looking at the cassettes and the airship cassette didn't have the right book with it. I can't necessarily replace the other cassette for the fifth book, but I'm sure someone, if I sell just the books and the cassettes, because those parts work on him. I test him after the video. You can hear him talking, but his eyes and mouth don't move anymore, which I know they used to do. But I thought it was great that I found the book to go with that. I also grabbed this because when I was shopping at St. Benny's, it was actually Donald Duck Day, so it felt like you needed to grab the Donald Duck book for Donald Duck Day. And I snagged a serendipity book. It's not in the best shape, but normally I'll get like a lot of them together because they're very thin and they can ship like 10 to 20 of them very cheaply, book mail, media mail rate. And, uh... The Bird Who Cried Wolf, A Wild Thornberry's Tale. That was simply for nostalgia. Then I have one more from St. Mays, but I'll show that last. And then this one, I paid, I think I paid 50 cents for all my books, like 50 cents each, is A Sleeping Beauty. But I normally will only pay a quarter, but this is literally from 1974 and in perfect shape. So I was like, I will do that. Then this, I think, is my real find. I have not come up with pricing. It's not perfect. There's some creases in it. But, amazingly, no one has written in the workbook. It's a workbook to a company 
uh, the Down Our Street by Arthur I. Gates reading. So I thought that was a miracle it survived. And then this I couldn't actually look at, but since the original price is $23.99, I thought I could probably spend 50 cents on it and then find out whether it was actually just a journal or what exactly it was. Because it says, The Dragon Slayer Handbook Defeat the 17 Deadliest Dragons in History. 224 pages. So, I I don't want to rip that open right this minute. Um, then I, I got, I think she charged me 50 cents. I think each of these things was a quarter. So, I actually have this one, I think, already in my thing, which is why I knew what it was. Oh, of course, you're not going to go in the order you're supposed to. But this one's a little fan pendant, and I think I have another one, fan pendant one. Because I thought they were so cute, because they're like, literally of de decoration on them. But this one also came with earrings to match. So, for a quarter. I do have breakables after this, but I was so excited when I found this. Now, you'll see, it's just a little pendant. It has a ring on it, and it's a little tiny apple. It feels like it's made of glass or stone. But I've had this Riku figurine, action figure, for a while, and I felt like Riku needed his apple, and I think I will be able to get it to position in his hand pretty well or hang it off like his belt or something because Riku loves apples and this is pretty much to scale with him so I'm very excited to give Riku his apple right now let's just put it on one of your spiky hairs there you go <laughs> all right so I got five of these for a dollar one is a repeat so I get to keep a grouse I think there's two grouse in here two something two cannons backs that's the one I get to keep but I usually do well with bird glasses, and these have that federal look. I don't see an F for federal on the bottom, but that's definitely the pattern federal uses. So we have this red ring-necked pheasant, the cannon's back, a grouse. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I don't have a whole set of four, but for less, for 20 cents a piece, got a second grouse and a second cans back. So maybe I'll do some replacement ones for people. And then this one was only 10 cents, and it's a colorful quail. Again, I haven't priced any of these yet. <laughs> I got this for 75 cents. It needs some desperate cleaning on the inside. But it's a cute little picture. I don't think it's cracked, but there is a lot of crazing on here. I believe the age. It says it's early providential under glaze hand-painted Japan. But it's got that cool rooster design to it. And I think I paid a dollar for this at Pack Rats. But it's got this adorable kitty and the thing that sold me most. Look at the cute little spider he's staring at. But it's also an Odegary, but it's specifically J Johann's Workshop ink. And then I did find a piece of uranium glass. You can kind of see the reaction on there. And they had another similar size piece, but for the same price. I paid three. But this one was hand-painted, had hand-painted details on it. And I don't know yet whether I'm selling it or keeping it. It may just be a matter of, it looks like it's in perfect shape, which lends it to selling. I usually take orphans. and um, But it's also, I don't know if I have room in my cabinet for it. I'm running out of display room. So I might sell it. We will see. <sighs> just needs a good hand wash, I think. All right, so a little less than last week. And it took me like 30 minutes to do the last week, and this week's more like 15. So uh, 
Thanks for watching. The links for my Etsy and eBay trash couture treasure stores will be down below.